What's up, guys? It's Gunman465, and we are about to, um, do Holy Day Slip. Um, let's see. Oh, let's there. See how everyone is having Christian dinner right now. Um, huh. Let's go outside, then. Can't really see anything. I don't have a far, like, popping distance. Whatever you would call that. My shirt's doing it again! Because they're in the dining room, right? It's over here. Hold up. There we go. Okay. I mean, I don't know if there's a is that if there's a faster way to do this, but this is the way I know. Hey, hey, hey! Alright, uh, they said outside, so I guess I'll go outside. Hey. Look at his butt cheeks. Is that thing? Oh, I thought it was going between his butt cheeks. That doesn't look very nice. I bet you somebody's gonna die like that, but from that spike. Or not spike, that, that pole thing. Homeboy's probably back here, yeah. Hey, friendo, how you doing? So, what am I gonna do with Alistair? Why well, I just spit? Spit. Hey, friend. How you doing? If you play outside, be careful. Alright, guys. Um, I was looking at this thing, and it seems like a lot of people are actually having trouble with this if they never played it before. But, um, there's a water bottle right here on my shelf. Um,. What do I have to do with it, though? Mm -hmm. I gotta go to the bathroom and fill it up. So, yeah, is this, this is gonna be cheated on. Uh, it's, a bad, it's not a bad one. I don't know what the WC is. It's telling me to go to the WC. Well, anyway, um, I gotta find the WC. Where's the bathroom at? I don't think I'm supposed to be in here. What the heck is? What? What? What is this? What is this? What is this? What? I'm gonna get out of here. Okay. Um. Go ahead and find another bathroom. I don't, I don't know, man. Gotta find a bathroom. Mm hmm. Oops. <laughs> I was trying to look at the thing at the same time. Um. Does it say? You can use the fill. Alright. I gotta. I gotta go to the bathroom first. I gotta find it. It's the lobby. I don't know, guys. I'm just not that good at puzzle games. Hey, this is where I need to go. Yeah, this is not easy at all. So, I recommend, you know, actually cheating for some of this game. I'm not just saying that because I couldn't figure it out. A lot of people can't figure it out. Because I actually looked up. Who can't figure this out? <laughs> so, I saw a lot of things, man. A lot of things. All right, um, and it's telling me the north end. I think. I think it's a. I want to kind of. I want to kind of figure it out from here, but I, I still have the little forum thing right here. Uh, I don't even know where I'm going right now. What the heck?
but I'm pretty much sure that I have to spill this uh, under this ice thing. Yep. So pretty much, I don't. Am I? How do I draw him out? Like you know. Okay. All right. Cause, I mean, I was wondering about this, but he remember he was ordered to um turn on the Christmas lights. So if he sees him go off, he's gonna try to come over here. Okay, all right, it wasn't a glitch. All right, uh, I gotta get out of here, huh? Oh, all right, okay. Then um, I don't, I don't like having that in my hand. I'd rather have. I, oh. All right, I'm um, gonna turn on that. We just gotta wait. I mean, there's no else. There's another. Eh, ow, my wrist. Ah. Okay. How far do I have to be? Oh, I don't have to be too close. I can't see it because my freaking head's blocking it. Must have pulled my back out or your back out. I could just been right there and just be like, I'll just look, look, look. Sucks that I had to take some cheating, you know? Ah! Ooh. Ow. I draw them pictures. Mr. Wagner, this is Wayne Preston from the Herald. I wonder if I could ask you some questions about the recent deaths at Dante Manor. This is a private line. How did you get this number? Five deaths within a few months is quite a sensational story, Mr. Wagner. The public needs to know. Winter Hill Police Department. This is Senator Charles Wagner. Please put me through to Detective McGuffin. The press are closing in on this, Mr. McGuffin. I have an election coming up, and I can't let this get out of control. I sympathize with you, Mr. Wagner. These journalist types are like vultures around every sad case I get. They just love tragedies. But what can we do? It's a free country. I need to keep this out of the papers, Mr. McGuffin. We've had a run of bad luck. It's as simple as that. The stakes are high, and I'm under a lot of pressure to clear this up. The pressure is on both of us. Your mess is making the precinct look like a joke, and my superiors are not going to take it lightly. Yeah, well, you won't know the half of it unless you get this wrapped up. Is that a threat, Mr. Wagner? That's not something you want to find out. A couple of phone calls can do wonders. Typical politician come back. A couple of phone calls can do works. Like, oh, well, wonders, whatever. Detective McGuffin. A word with you, please. How did you get in here? You're working the case here at the Wagner estate. I'd like to ask a few questions about the series of unusual deaths that have occurred over the last few months. Now listen to me. You leave those people alone. They've had some bad luck is all. They're nice people, and they need space to get over their losses, okay? And if I find you anywhere near this house again, I'll run you in. You got it? Typical police comeback. I'll run you in. And I'll beat you behind. I was almost ready to bring in the Latina maid. I was planning on searching a room, hoping to find a bottle of rat poison or a padlock. But suddenly, it was too late. Seems that Tom Wagner, brother of Charles, had an affair with two of the maids. 
I guess one of them found out and wasn't happy about it. Can't really figure out what they saw in that guy. I mean, he was mooching from his brother and doing God knows what in his dirty little film room. When we searched that room, it was a sick pervert's nest. I mean, they had a kid in that house. Little did I know about this kid. So I think they're trying to close in on me, you know? So, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up. And uh, I'm going to be trying to get this out. I'll probably be finished recording this by, like, tomorrow. I haven't even put up the first part yet. So, anyway, thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Bye now.